Hey, what's going on guys, Nick here, and BMIs, or Brain Machine Interfaces, have been all the rage in recent years. They allow those who have been struck with misfortune or disability to regain absolute control of their body as if nothing had ever happened in the first place. While incredibly impressive, many questions are yet to be answered in regards to the potential of BMIs and whether or not their integration can be truly seamless. It seems that with recent research done at Stanford University, we finally might have a glimpse into the truly extraordinary future of this technology. Let's check it out. Stanford engineer Krishna Shinoy has recently spearheaded a team that has developed new computational methods to make BMI significantly more accurate. The team often describes the process of bettering these devices similar to that of firing a cannonball at dusk and trying to estimate its trajectory when there are only a few pixels to see it with, except in this case the pixels are represented by microscopic neurons in your body's motor cortex. It's pretty difficult. BMIs essentially evaluate your neural state and process your thoughts into an action. Many BMIs today however estimate that neural state and perform certain actions without fully understanding the dynamics of the neural network itself. They use methods like factor analysis, which can sparsely mimic the actions that are usually prescribed by the brain in fractions of seconds, but oftentimes lack the inherent accuracy of natural movements. Now, going back to the cannonball example, you can fire a cannonball at a location and be reasonably accurate if you know the ins and the outs of the cannon. Now, if we're talking about bullseye precision, on the other hand, you must know the dynamics of the cannonball itself. Likewise, when we're talking about a BMI-controlled arm prosthesis, that minuscule distinction can make the difference between a vigorous, unfamiliar handshake or the gentle, undisputably human one that you and I are so familiar with. In the Stanford study, researchers examined results from using electrode arrays implanted in the brain of monkeys when they were choosing objects on a screen. They estimated the number of successful counts in two trials, the first where the monkey simply moves its arm to a spot, and the second where the BMI model moves a cursor to the spot. The results showed that the monkey hit 10 targets in 9.9 .9 seconds with its hands and hit the same 10 in 11.4 seconds using the thought-controlled BMI simulation. For us, this means that BMI devices are almost as fast as a healthy human using his or her hands, and more importantly, that those who are affected by disability and use BMIs will never be any less than someone who is healthy. It's incredible news. Now, if we aren't already talking big things for the future, the one thing to take away is that the virtual BMI-controlled thought arm is basically as fast as the real kinetic arm. Now, let's think about that. If an algorithm based on a sample of neurons is basically as good as the real thing, what does it mean to be disabled? We can redefine that term and it can go extinct with the research we see here today. It's incredible news and I'm very excited to be covering it and you know I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Clinical trials are already underway and who knows where this technology is gonna be headed in the next 10 or 15 years. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.